Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. I don't know why I did chicken sounds. Why not? Why not? This week we are tooting and booting the social media of RuPaul's Drag Race alumni. Metia. Metia. So we're looking at queens from seasons one through eight, mm -hmm. including two seasons of All Stars. They are randomly selected. We don't do the selecting, they just pop up. And later, we're gonna play a game called Shoe. Shoe Better Work. Better Work. Shoe Better Work. But before that, let's start tooting and booting. Here we go. Okay. First, we have from Chicago. Now, one's out of drag and one's in drag. Yes. We got Kimchi and Davis Happenstall. Or Naomi Small. Or otherwise known as Naomi Small. Yeah, both mm -hmm. from season eight, both top three. Yes. They are both from Chicago, and it looks as if this is supposed to be around Halloween time. Who knows, really, with Kimchi. I mean, any day is really Halloween for Kimchi. For a drag queen, really, any day is Halloween. Absolutely. What, what's the movie that I'm thinking of right now? The one with Tom Cruise uh, back in the day. Legend. Legend. Yes, this Legend. Is very, yes, this is very... Yeah, it's legendary. Very, Legendary, darling. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm, you know, I am very, very partial to the third eye or a big brown eye. Oh yeah. But mostly the third eye. I like Cyclops motifs or any anytime you add or subtract eyes, I like that. So I'm really, really into this. I love the red slickness of the whole thing, the vinyl. The weird tentacles are really cool. The horns, it gives me like demon, but maybe like demon in like some sort of like Japanese mythology. Yeah, yeah. and the hair almost has like a floral type of look to the overall head. It's giving me like it's, kabuki, yeah. like Chinese opera. It's just, it's, it's kimchi. You know, and it's amazing, and I think she looks fantastic. And so does Naomi. Naomi's lips look a little bit bigger. I know she's your daughter, but them lips look really full. She um, has been sucking a lot of Chicago dicks. Uh, hot happens. dogs, Chicago hot dogs. That's what happens, girl. Totally. Two. Two. Two, two. Toots. Toots all the way around. There. Next bitch. Le gonjo estrangeo. Le gonjo estrangeo. I love all of this. I live. The hair, the umbrella. I love. The little jacket, the dress, the boots. That's, Super cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love the theme. I love how fresh and fertile she looks. She looks like she's just about to just bud like she's, in the garden like in the she's rain. Like a little nymph. Yeah. Right out of like a mother nature fairy tale or something. More nympho. Yeah. She's more like nympho nymph. I bet that umbrella has got such a nice dome on it that if like two or three of us smoked a bowl underneath there, I bet we would catch all the smoke. Like it would never escape. Be high as fuck. Fuck, dude. Huh. <laughs> I mean, even where she's at. Yeah. Like everything goes together. Where is that? It's such a beautiful... Maybe it's her like kitchen. <laughs> I don't know, I need that. I need that wallpaper. It's amazing. It's beautiful. The wallpaper gets a two. But what about Lagan? Oh, Lagan gets a two as well. She gets a two. The wallpaper is Sydney. Tyra Sanchez. Next we have Tyra Sanchez. And she is in the lobby at the Embassy Suites in Rancho Cucamonga. How do you know? Ontario, actually. How do you know? Um, because she's getting ready to go and work at the 349 Club in Pomona. Oh my God. Plus, I've stayed there. Oh, okay. I thought you were just trolling her the fuck down. <laughs> like, you knew that. No, I worked with her that night. Oh, I see. I think it's cool. I think she looks really good. There's there's a real casualness sometimes to what she does that I like. And clearly she is embodying uh, Queen Bay, you know? I mean, she's giving you some Beyonce. She's giving you formation. She's giving you New Orleans witch. Uh, I like it. I love it. She looks yeah. beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen her really look horrible. Have you? Shut up. I think she looks great. I'm gonna give her a two. I give her a toot as well. I love that hat. Mm -hmm. I and that. I love a print. I love that big graphic 1960s, 70s sort yeah. of print on the skirt. And those big old tits. Mm, she knows. She she look great in titties. Yeah. Oh, not bad for an arrival outfit. No, that's how you show up. I wonder what she wore. Like, Girl, when I show up to the club, I have on a hoodie, sweatpants, full face of makeup, and flip flops. Not me. When I pull up, you know, there's normally a limo that takes me to every club. And when I pull out in my um, uh, my Tatehana heelless boots and with my three security guards, 
And you know, there's always the, the facial piece that's covering my eyes, and then there's the giant wigs, and it's just, you know, it's really, really, and there's all the paparazzi, and it's sort of blinding, and just... That story gets a boob. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't Next. Like you. you love me, girl. Next we have from your season. Yes. Mm hmm I got that one right. Mystique Summers Madison. Originally from Chicago to Dallas Fort Worth, up to bitch. Cincinnati, and now I think she lives in Texas again. She's always painted for filth. Mm -hmm. She will let you know because she will hashtag the fuck out of it. She is a makeup goddess. Whether it is pants or a dress, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I think too. it fits her well, and I think that the the pattern on it is great at giving her more shape. Yeah. And then I love the pop of color on the lips and on the earrings. And the earrings, yeah. That is, that, the pattern is really what makes that outfit look really cool. It gives you that trick of like being even slimmer and it kind of is positioned in such nice places. But I always, always, always fucking respond to a tribal print. I love it. I don't care if it's a dress and I'm not really sure if it's a, I think it looks like a cat suit to me and that's another thing that I really respond to. I like a sexy cat suit. I do too. Yes. Go I on. love it, I'm gonna give her a two. I give her a two. Here's Dita Ritz, and she is cold. Is your cold, boo? Yeah, she's freezing. She's like, ooh, it's cold. It's real nippy out here. And um, Did she's she just make out of jail. I want to know what the story is behind the handcuffs. That is a really interesting accessory for yeah. a look like this. She does look a little bit like a 1985 hooker, like movie hooker. Ooh. You know, like getting released out of jail and she's still got the handcuffs, maybe. I appreciate Dita so much because she always has a very eclectic mix to her look. And I like yeah. it. I can see all the That's parallels. Once I got a closer look at it, I can see a lot of the parallels. She's got some of the beading on her eyes that match the outfit beneath the fur coat. And, you know, who knows what the story is. And you know, I love gray hair. I love the hair. Mm -hmm. I think the hair is beautiful. And it almost, it almost looks like it's got blue. Yeah, like I, a need blue wig. I need a wig. I need to call her. I thought you don't wear wigs. Well, I mean, once in a while it's nice. You know, just for parties. You know, I love how there's like, you know, how some of the makeup mirrors whatever is happening in the, the outfit itself. There's like the beads and the and the rhinestones. And the fur. And it gives you like a little bit more. <laughs> it gives you is that shame? Yep. Four um, cash shows. Doesn't it look as she has a mustache? Do you not see a mustache? Well, maybe she's just getting out of jail or something. It looks like it's really early morning and that was kind of the theme. There's a handcuff there. Maybe it's just kind of like it's late. Early. Okay. We're gonna go with that story. Mm hmm Boo. What? I kinda like it. I'm gonna give it a two. Next we have Sasha Bell. Most of the pictures that we see of her, she's always on stage and mm -hmm. she always has a fistful of cash. See? That's a fucking working bitch. Yeah, she is not letting one of those bills drop on the floor. She has a great clutch on it. Not going nowhere. And money is a great accessory. I am in love with this hair because it is a more inflated version of the, of the sad attempt that I try to do. I wanted what she has on her head right now. I wanted that giant, exaggerated, uh, Farrah Fawcett, J-Lo kind of like, uh, gah, 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 that I didn't have time. You know. She's wearing a wig, this is my hair. So. <laughs> you know, and she's not lazy. Wow. <laughs> 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 you look beautiful. Thanks. And you're welcome. Thank you. Um, I love her body shape. Love a queen that says, you know what? Let me pull this in and pop this out. Yeah. And these boots are really popular. I see a lot of queens with these boots. I personally can't wear them because uh, they don't go up to my size. But if I could, I probably wouldn't because everyone already don't wear them. I can tell you. I can tell you where to find them. Where? Oh, Amazon. Okay. I give this a two. I, I really love like this look. Too. I love it. She looks sexy. Her body looks right. It's, it's, everything is hitting at the right spot. Her hair, again, I can't even get enough of it. Love it so much. It kind of gives me a touch of Roxy Andrews a little bit. But I love it. I love Sasha, and I think she looks amazing. I give this a toot as well. Toot. Bing! Guess what time it is, Raven? What time is it? It's game time! Woo! Woo! We are going to play Shoe Better Work. Shoe better work. Shoe better work. Well, well the body's cut out, mm -hmm. and we see the shoe, the whole shoe, and nothing but the shoe. Shoe better work. Based off of this silhouette, this looked like a thick bitch. Okay. You don't see that? But I'm also trying to think about the boot, and I'm trying to think about the surrounding area. This person's getting ready somewhere. I'm trying to think if I've seen this person in this 
area before. Okay, also I'm thinking about heel height. It could be that she's wearing a very, uh, you know, there's a lot of volume in her outfit. Okay. I even want to say that it could be like Latrice Royale. No? No, see, I'm just, no, that's, no, no. no. I think Roxy Andrews. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm guessing yeah, yeah, yeah. Roxy Andrews. I think this is Roxy mm -hmm, Andrews, and I think mm -hmm. it is because of the pose in the chair, the size of the hair. Uh huh, uh huh. And, and, and the also the tools at. that are laid out yes. there, and the and the quality of makeup. So yeah, Roxy Andrews, it is. I say Roxy. Okay, we say Roxy Andrews. And the answer is. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you can't really tell by the way someone is seated that way in that silhouette, so. That, me well, we, were, we fucked up on that one. Oh, well. Hmm. You use good makeup, bitch. Next we have, oh, well, there's someone getting coffee. I'm gonna say that is none other than the lovely Angina. Did you, just eat? Did you just swallow Angina and she's trying to <laughs> climb out okay, of your so you belly? Okay, see Angina? Okay, um, no, I'm thinking. Or Katya. Because that shoe is sick. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Um, That's what your stomach was saying. <laughs> it's just in my belly. Um, fuck. I'm going to say the princess. I say the princess. It could be the, oh yeah, the princess. But also, you know, it, she looks very, very small next to that giant cup. It could be Angina. It could be Latrice Royale. <laughs> oh my God. That's how big that cup is. No, I think it is, I think it's definitely Angina. And the answer is, drum roll, it's Angina! Angina! What do I win? That big coffee cup? You win a chance to go on to the very next contestant on Shoe But I Work. I won! All right, next we have, oh, hold on. There are dollar bills everywhere. She is on the ground. The Adi 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 is happening. But where is this club at? Can you tell? This could be Rage. Mm-hmm. You know how I know I can tell by the scrim in the back? Isn't that fucking weird how many places uh -huh. we can just tell by the, like, uh -huh. I can tell by the, the, the little hole on the scrim. That, that, I know they serve that, you know, it's like, I can tell. And I can tell by the, the, the way the floor is. And I'm gonna say that's Kylie Sonique Love. It's not you. It's definitely <laughs> not me because I make more money than that. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is Trinity K. Bonet. Oh, that's a good one too. That's who I guess, Trinity mm -hmm. K. Bonet. You say Sonique Kylie Love? I say Kylie Sonique Kylie Love. And the answer is, survey says, yeah! Damn, bitch! Yes! I win, I win all the time, honey. Do so you know why you win these games? Because you actually follow these people on social media. I do. <laughs> Trend alert! Prince. The artist formerly known as... No, dumbass. Prince. prince. Like, you know. I prince. know, girl. It's tribal prince. Floral prince. Prince. Prince, prince, prince galore, graphic, prince, design, prince, prince, floor, yes. prince. princess. Prince. Our top two of the week is... Le La ganja estranja. Extravaganza ganja. Yes, yeah. la ganja. Yes, Ovenus, tongue pop. I want to see you do a death drop. Like she do. No, that's not going to work. What, your baby's kicking this? Yeah. All three of them. That coffee baby. Don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents. You hear this spooky ass fucking <laughs> stool? You love me, girl. <laughs>